It's really scary, and you never know if you're going to get your data back. Your data held hostage until you pay a ransom. The growing threat is locking more of us out of our computer files. Dini, the KSL investigators found these cyber crooks are getting sneakier. Certainly are. Debbie Dejanovic showing us three new ways that they're tricking us to download this virus. And the one thing to do so you never have to pay the ransom. Yeah, if you watch this entire report, you'll see it can happen to anyone anyone who owns a computer. Both PCs and Macs are at risk. There's no guarantee antivirus software will stop it. I was looking at my, my junk mail. Curiosity got to Dr. Stuart Yeager. I just wanted to see what was in there. He spotted an email with the subject line invoice and clicked the attachment. I opened the bill and nothing happened. It was like a little poof kind of thing that happened. Something big did happen. That poof unleashed a vicious computer virus known as ransomware. It took his computer files hostage. The spreadsheets and the word processing files. If he ever hoped to access them again. And then I had to pay this ransom and, and that there's nothing I could do. It's like robbing a bank where you go with a shotgun or pistol and you're face to face with a potential law enforcement. FBI Special Agent James La Madrid says ransomware is lurking in places we might not suspect, like online ads. A bunch of shoes ads come up, and you think, oh, those are the shoes that I want. You click on that, that could also be loaded with malware to infect your computer. So it's not just attachments. Legitimate sites like the New York Times, MSN, AOL got hit by infected ads. An enabled pop-up blocker on your browser could protect you from clicking on one, because once you do and the ransomware downloads, you may wind up trying to cut a deal with the devil who lurks in cyberspace. You can do everything behind a keyboard in a country many thousands of miles away. Here's how it all works. If you pay the ransom, the anonymous crook who's locked your files may or may not send you an encryption key to unlock them. The thieves almost always demand payment in Bitcoin. It's a digital currency that's hard to trace, even for law enforcement. And victims are paying by the millions. The FBI reports losses of $24 million last year, an additional $209 million in the first three months of this year. So can you imagine what's not reported that's out there? Twice that, three times that, we don't know at this point. It can happen to anyone. A police department in the Boston area paid a $500 ransom to unlock their arrest logs and other files. A city in New Jersey had its servers crippled when an employee clicked an infected link in an email. The thieves demanded 700 bucks. A Los Angeles hospital paid a $17,000 ransom to regain control of its entire computer system, including patient records. What we find most of the time is that it's those phishing scams where they try to get you to click on something looking very official. Keith Squires is the commissioner of the Utah Department of Public Safety. His agency has teamed up with the FBI to investigate these cases, and the problem is only getting bigger. I see more and more criminals learning from each other on how they can be perpetrators and uh, go after victims. I thought it was safe. It was the Adobe button. Uh, it had the Adobe logo. Even at KSL, we are not immune. Producer Jennifer Michelson was tricked by what seemed to be a legitimate software update that had popped up on her computer, and she clicked could have taken out our video. It could have taken out the entire week's newscast. As soon as I saw what was going on, I unplugged the network cable from her PC. Our network engineer, Sean Calloway's gut reaction stopped the virus's spread. We did lose access to numerous files, but... We actually did not pay the ransom. Dr. Yeager did pay a $500 ransom in Bitcoin to decrypt his files. The thieves did not deliver on the key, and several computer repair shops could not help him. Those files were important and personal to me and running my office, running my business. These are very evil people. So here's the one thing you need to do so you are not tempted to negotiate a ransom. Back up your computer files regularly and unplug that external hard drive or that flash drive that you save your files on. If they are plugged in, the virus can infect them too. And a lot of people don't realize that. And these thieves typically don't steal your files. Those files stay on your computer, but you won't be able to open them up without that encryption key. So, but just do that. Well, if you, if, you, uh, if you get in the jam, do you pay it? The FBI says don't pay the ransom. So Dr. Yeager did not get that encryption key.
when he paid that $500, we did not pay the ransom or we didn't even negotiate with them. We mm. just, we had files backed up. Okay. Good wow. information though. Yep. Yeah. All right. Thanks, thanks Debbie. Debbie. Okay.